Oh, here we go. There. I'm really building up to this one. It's time for the Fang Update. And today's issue is... Modern life is crap. It is crap. I mean, nothing anymore is nice and straightforward. I can remember the days when I was a hunter-gatherer. Yes, I was. I was a hunter-gatherer. I used to wake up in the morning. I used to turn over, look at the rest of my tribe, look, look at my my free wives, and I'd say, right, uh, come on, the rest of you warriors, you hunters, come with me. We get up and say, see you, love. Off we go. We go out. We say, well, you do your stuff during the day. We've got to go hunting. We're going to go and hunt something. We'll go and hunt a mammoth. We're in a mammoth mood today. Or, or something else like that. Or, or a giant kangaroo. Or, you know, whatever. Whatever. Whatever tickled our fancy. So off we go. That's all we have to do. Go and find that bloody mammoth, that big, huge, mega beast. Kill it. Have one of our... Have one of the members, one one of the hunting party, get killed and mauled, and then we we'd have to chop it up and carry lumps of meat back, nice and straight forward. You get back, and the women, well, they'd spent the day out picking stuff and you know grabbing food and grasses and you know and and sort of bulbous sort of bulbous plant-like tubular things from the ground and, you know, and seeds and everything. We'd all get back and then we'd, that'd be our day. Well, that'd be about lunchtime. We'd all have a snooze, drink a bit of water or whatnot, you know, uh, have some of that funny water that uh, that buddy, uh, one of the women elders' daughters accidentally Threw all those seeds in, we drink that, we'd be all nice and happy. We have a midday sleep, then we get up and we cook the food, start preparing, maybe go down and check the traps down at, down at the creek, go and see if we got anything in the traps, bring it back and get ready and have, have dinner. Pretty straightforward. That no. sit around and get the fire going, have something to eat, and then tell stories. That was life. It was straight. Do we do any of that these days? No. No. Everything is complex. They say complicated. It's complex. Everything is so complex. Bullshit! It's not complex. Why do we have that crash? The world crash? Economic crash? Because people thought being smart was being complex. Complexity is not smart. Complexity is often deceitful, stupid, moronic. Yes, all of those and many more sort of descriptive terms I could think. But I'm not going to go into them today. But I might, as I continue this passage of what is it called? A stream of consciousness. I'm streaming! <laughs> so, everything you do now, it, it's almost like, it's not about you actually, you go ahead and you want to try to do something. It's about the world has been built around stopping you from doing anything. We live in a modern society that doesn't want you to progress. It doesn't want you to move forward. It wants you to get stuck in a queue. Be that digital or physical. They don't want you to do anything. Because they've made everything so complex and complicated. So you spend most of your time filling out forms online and off. And not doing anything. Not doing anything. We live in a society... The consumes. That's why people run out and buy things. They think, oh, I can't do it because I've got 175 forms 
pages are full. I've got to fill out before I can paint my letterbox a different colour. Why do I want to paint my letterbox? Because, because well, now it's less of a functional item and more of a display item. It is. But you can't do it. No. Because of council rules. Regulations. That colour's the wrong colour. I'm sorry. You can't paint it that colour. You have to get an exemption form for painting a different colour. This is what happens. The world, I think, sucks. And, and it is my objective in life to ruin it, wreck it all. I want to wreck the world. In a nice way. In an eco-friendly manner. And then we can all start again. Yeah. We can get rid of all the bureaucrats. All the bureaucrats. All the corporations. And we'll start again. I think that'd be nice. Without, without the overabundance of regulations and rules. And that. Make, the, make them nice and simple and direct. Why not? That's the problem. People think that being complex and complicated is a sign of intellect. I'm sorry to say it isn't. It's a sign of regression. Mental regression. Spiring down beneath that first worm that that wiggled out of the primeval muck and, you know, announced that it was the first, sort of like rather than plant life, but the first animal life which came on to us. It's all gone downhill ever since, I tell you. Everything got too complicated. We've just got to, someone's got to uncomplicate it. And I'm the guy who'll do it! This has been a thing up there. And what can I say about it? Did I impart anything? Oh, yes, I did. I impart. Things have got too complicated and too complex. And rather than helping you achieve your goals, I think we live in a society that actually works against you actually achieving them at times. It means you have to work a little bit harder and a little bit. And it's annoying. It can become very annoying when you've got things you've got to deal with every government bodies or different institutes or companies or corporations. It can be very frustrating at times trying to get something done. And sometimes it seems like it's more more that these are set up rather than avenues to help you achieve what you're doing or whatever that goal may be. They seem to be more of trying to um, impede you, impede you or make you sort of like give up and say, oh, it's a waste of bloody time. Oh, I can't be bothered. I know. So... Yeah, it gets a bit like that. I've had a morning like that, so that's what's kicked this off. That I got frustrated and annoyed at a few things I had to fill in, and they kept stuffing up when I was going through the process from one page to another. So that's that. Anyway, take it easy, keep your head above water, and all the rest of that crap. Yeah.